Rule number four, the dying patient better not be dead when I get there. Are we clear? Yes. That was four rules. You said five. Two. Who's getting, uh, Ms. Herman's kidney? Three. Mr. Walling, how's your knee? Is the, uh, pain any better? Look, you seem really sweet, but, I mean, you don't even know my case. Your fracture was fixed with elevation and percutaneous screw fixture. You are allergic to penicillin, currently on blood thinners. And if you would just talk to me about your knee, then I can adjust your pain meds and be out of your hair. I think I'll keep Lexapedia. Encyclopedia Brown. Lassie. Trauma room, Barbie. You're not a girl I ever wanted to have to know. You're an intern. Why are you talking to me? You're an intern. Are we clear? Three. Lexi. What? It's Lexi or Gray. It's not three. I have a name. That girl out there, the dopey wide-eyed one? Apparently we're related. You're using the gray sister angle to get in good with the attendings? I get that. Are you two sisters? No, just same last name. It's okay. Nobody else is here. It's just me and I'm just an intern. I'm nobody. It's what okay. are you doing? Don't touch him. Gray. The good gray? The intern gray. Little gray. Oh, gray. Big gray. And what the hell have I done that you know? I'm you know, seriously hot. That Lexi girl. Get your own friends. Get your own life. Stop living in mine. I'd give anything to not be here. To have my life work out the way I planned. It's even have time to ask what about me. Very fine work, Doctor. Great. Sounds like someone picked the wrong gray. I'm not choosing sides. Except clearly you are. I don't want this. Don't make me choose between you and her. You don't see anything. He didn't dump me. He forgot about me. He forgot he had sex with me. I just fucked the He words. forgot? You worry about April. You let her have Izzy's room. You talk to her about your doctor's appointments. You're going to fight back at some point. You know, every intern class has its run to the letter. Keep this up. This year, it's going to be you. We are going to do our work first. And you're going to have your feelings later. You don't get to feel anything because he's feeling everything. That's her problem. She cares. That's her problem. Your heart's like in your vagina. You want to be unforgettable? You want to not be mousy? You can't just change your hair. You have to actually change. I am not your big brother. I am your attending. And what I need is my resident. I'm sorry I'm late. I was just talking. No talking unless it's medical. I went through a rough patch, but I am moving out of it, and you won't let me. You think that you are so badass because you lived? I'm the reason that you lived. A month ago, you were in med school being taught by doctors, and now you are the doctors. You are handing your power over to a boy because he's giving you sex. Now give me a damn beer. You really should drink something. I said I'm fine. Drink the water. She's bossy. I know. I dig it. You sure I'm numb? Tough enough. And we just found out that uh, Dr. Gray here can now fully stitch Shepard. Lexi just said you knew. Sutures. I knew they were doing sutures on themselves. We could take out his appendix. Ray, present. Sadie Harris, 30, three hour status, post appendectomy complicated by severe hemorrhaging. Suction around it. Got it. Good job. Nicely done. Well, where is that blood coming from? Does she even have to know? Of course she does. She's not strong enough. That she should be a surgeon. You're not gonna cry right now. You're gonna go and talk to Derek, and he's gonna scream at you, and he won't look at you for days. Just take it. You told me you can handle this. No, I, I, I can't. I, it's under control. You deserve to be here. Act like it. We can't just leave it behind. Don't tell me. And if we operate on him, maybe she'll let us operate on her. You're right. You did a good job today. What you did was not easy. It was brave. Gray. Yes. No, the other gray. I'd say our survival rate is about 3%. But it's not nothing. I'm his family, too. Wait, no, you're not his family. You're his midlife crisis. Lex. I went crazy, and now I find myself relating to the crazy, jealous lady who drives into laundromats. You have to grow up. You're a fetus. I'll be there to take over. When I like somebody, I make sure they know it. Life's too short to live any other way. You survived residency. Stop and celebrate that, because life changes in an instant. You're not crazy, Lexi. You're a great.